Hi friends, today is Friday, January 27. I'm Mike Malcolm, and here's what's coming up at the Church of St. Mary. Art is coming to our vestibule. The intention had always been to put art in, but now it's coming. First thing we have to do is make room for it. So those two TVs or digital signs are being moved away from the center to give room for four big pieces of art that will make sense in the context of the whole. I won't spoil the surprise, but I will post pictures of the artwork as it goes in. It should come in pretty soon. It's exciting. Looking to the choir room, they are almost ready to move in. We've got details that have been finished, electrical outlets that have been installed. We've got a few more phone and network cables that need to be done in some of the offices, but that choir room looks pretty good. And it's a deserving choir that should get such a great choir room. The sound system report is here. Mr. Wade Worley measured the church with very detailed, careful equipment back in the beginning of December. He's compiled the report and I want to share it with all of you. So those of you who have subscribed to my Friday emails, you will already have the link to it. If you want to read the report, it's about 97 pages long. Email me and I can get you a copy of it. The next steps is Father Stewart is going to mull over some of the recommendations in that report, decide the scope of what he wants to do, and then we have to get bids, contractors to do the work, to install the equipment, and then finally, using information in this report, we'll use that to calibrate the new sound system. So we will have not just okay sound, not just good, but I really want excellent sound, and that's what we're going to get. So thank you for sticking with me in this long process as we get things worked out. In the parish, the Women's Ministries Book Club is going to be reading Persuasion by Jane Austen and discussing it on January 31st. Reading Partners is a group of parishioners and people from all over Tulsa who go read books to children in some of the local public schools. St. Mary has a contingent of reading partners. If you think that you would like to become a reading partner, come to an info meeting on February 6th, no strings attached. You come, you see what it's all about, and decide if it's for you. Elsewhere in the parish, we have the Encore Senior Valentine Luncheon. That's going to be on February 9. You can call the parish office to RSVP for it. Then Encore is also doing a morning reflection with Father Stewart. That's going to be on February 11th. The Women's Ministry is back with Galentine's Favorite Things Party. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be on February 13th. The Single Parents Ministry that met for the first time a couple of weeks ago is going to be back in February. And again, Father Stewart will just be listening to the needs of single parents in the, the parish and creating a ministry from scratch to help serve those people in the parish. Then I got news. I know Christmas was just ending. Some people have just taken down their trees, but it's time to start thinking about Lent. In less than a month, we'll be in the middle of Lent. So I've created a handy dandy guide to Lent. This is everything you need to know about Lent in the parish in the Church of St. Mary. So in our parish life, it's got how to fast, when Ash Wednesday is, and what the mass times are. And we are adding a mass, so not only will we have a 6 30, 9 o'clock, and 6 p.m. mass, we'll also have a 12.05 mass, especially for the working lunch crowd. So it's got a what we do for Fridays of Lent. And at the very back, it has the complete Holy Week schedule, and it also has information about our parish mission featuring Father Philip Cook. We'll close today with a short word from Father Philip about the mission. Thank My name is Father Philip Cook. I'm an Augustinian friar here at Cashel Hall in Tulsa. I have been invited to preach the Lenten mission over at the Church of St. Mary next month. I look forward to meeting you and sharing with you our common faith as Catholics as we begin our Lenten journey, reflect upon our lives and our goals as believers.